are set to go with a long night of boxing here before a sellout crowd at the Barclays Center. Our first fight in the super featherweight division. We're going 10 rounds. Eduardo Ramirez and Luis Melendez. Two guys with just three losses between them. For Luis El Chucho Melendez, he is 17 up and just one down. He's got 13 knockouts, so he does have a little bit of pop. And in fact, he's won 15 in a row since his only loss. That was back very early in his career. He fought eight times in 2021, hard to believe. But three of them were in a 10-day period, and three of them were in a 12-day period, and they were both in his native Colombia. He has only fought one time here in the United States. This will be his second effort. So not a lot known about El Chucho Melendez. As to Eduardo Zurdito Ramirez, He's the experienced fighter with these two. Comes in here with a record of 26, two and three. He's got a little bit of pop. He's got 12 knockouts along the way. He's 29 years old, so the clock is somewhat ticking on him. He's been a pro for a long time. Turned pro at 18, so an 11 year pro. He was at one time the interim WBA champion, but of course they had to do away with those. He won a title eliminator fight, interestingly enough, back in 2019. And he's still waiting for his title shot after that eliminator. So maybe it was he that was eliminated. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> right, let's take a look at the numbers for this matchup. You know, Ramirez was a 126 pounder for 10 years of his career. But his last fight, he moved up to 130. So this is his second bout at that weight. Melendez had been, has been at this weight for a while, so he's comfortable at it. And the rules for all our fights tonight, the referee or doctor can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. The fight becomes official after four complete rounds. We'll go to the scorecards. It is time now to get the official introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York. Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming away, and it's all brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, GTD Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. And we extend a special welcome to the brave men and women serving around the world and joining us tonight on AFN, the American Forces Network. Well, fans, our opening attraction is presented in association with Sampson Boxing, introducing our judges scoring from ringside. We have from Pennsylvania, Bernard Bruni, from New York, John McKay, and from New Jersey, John Potteridge. Introducing our third man to the ring, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Johnny Callis. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a super featherweight attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing dark blue trunks with white trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 130 pounds even, with a record of 17 wins, one loss. He has 13 wins. Coming by way up knockout tonight, making his Showtime debut. Here is the Southpaw contender, introducing Luis Chucho Melendez. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black trunks with silver trim, hailing from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 130 pounds. His record, 26 wins, two losses, three draws, one no contest, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC number three ranked super featherweight world contender, introducing Eduardo Surdito. Ramirez. Once again, the referee in charge, Johnny Callis, now to give instructions. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled. Luis Eduardo. Luis Eduardo, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now. Touch gloves when the bell rings come out in box. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Give me a little back up, give me a little back up. 
right, you're obviously ready. Ready, Lewis? Ready? So here we go. First round, first fight, four nice card here with a great headliner. Should be a very entertaining night here at the Barclays Center. Melendez in the blue trunks and Ramirez in the black and silver. Quite the activity, like you mentioned, Barry. Luis Melendez fighting eight times last year. I mean, that's impressive, really. Yeah, can you imagine that? <laughs> And that mean that, that that will definitely help, you know, in the fight coming in because you're so fresh, you know. You still, I, I remember, you know, uh, fight, uh, finishing fights and wanting to go get back inside the ring. So this guy, you know, he did it. A couple of pretty sharp left hands early in this fight from Ramirez. Uh, Ramirez is the busier puncher. He averages 69 punches per round to only 38 from Melendez. So we'll see if that holds true tonight. Ramirez fought his last fight at 130 pounds, back down where he feels he belongs at 126. Yeah, Ramirez trying to do something right here. You know, he, either he's not trying to stay at reach for Melendez to, to land his punches, or he's trying to get inside also. So either you want to be too, too far off or right in sight, right in the chest. Good job right there by, by keeping him at, at a distance that Melendez won't reach. Ramirez looked very good in his first fight at 126 against uh, Miguel Mariaga in his last fight. And so he feels like he's going to settle feet. in well at this weight. We'll see. Comes from Los Mochis, Mexico. And that uh, you better be tough if you grow up in Los Mochis. Cradle of champions, huh? Jorge Arce, so many other great Yeah, ones. Hugo Cazares, Alberto Soto. Pretty good right hand of the body there from Melendez. And he has a really great right hand to the body and to the head. He's a great timer. He can time you really well and catch you with that right hand. <laughs> First round, feeling out round largely. You can sense that he's trying to do that. Melendez pawing with that jab, waiting for Ramirez to come in and almost catch him with that right hand. We'll see if he, if he does that later on. Yeah, I can kind of feel both guys trying to get themselves into punching range, and really neither has yet. There, Melendez to let, let go of that right hand seconds ago. Quick right hand from Melendez, a little bit short. Very close first round. We'll take a look at what these men need to do for Ramirez. No slow start. Early in his career, he had some slow starts in fights, and it hurt him. He's done better lately. And the body's important to him. He is an excellent body puncher. That could slow Melendez down in terms of movement. And the right hook is a big weapon for him. It created a knockout two fights ago for him, so he wants to get that power punch in. As for Melendez, he too is an excellent body puncher. And in fact, 40% of the punches he lands are body shots. And he, when he throws combinations, he's very effective with that. And he can't square up to make himself a more inviting target for Ramirez. So we come to round two. Very close first round. Yeah, really fill out type of round. Both fighters trying to figure out each other's style. But really, Ramirez trying to be the one to be the aggressive, trying to get inside Melendez's distance. Right at the end of that first round, he had a pretty sharp right hand. And he's also, he's a bigger puncher than his 12 knockouts would indicate. He really is, you know. Uh, he's got three of his last four wins have come by knockout, and he has enough power to make a difference in fights. That, and he's also a punch, a guy that throws a lot. So yeah. if, if uh, Ramirez gets, gets into that rhythm, that would help in this fight. 
And so far, Melendez throwing just about the same number of punches. Yeah, uh, and neither man really throwing a, a lot. Very quick combination from Ramirez. You know, Melendez early in his career, well, up until really a few fights ago, was not fighting very good opposition. And he's now started to come up, and that win over Mat uh, Matisse, which was highly controversial, uh, you know, was the high, by far the best fighter he's fought. So he's in there against a man that might be the best person he has fought. And he's got a lot to prove coming off of that fight, too, because very few people who saw that fight felt as though he won them. Yeah, they, they, they felt Thomas back. Matisse did win right. that fight. And he, he had his good Wait moments in it, but it just wasn't the kind of resounding victory you would want. I see Milan is getting more comfortable with the right hand, landing it almost at will, but it's Ramirez. I mean, he's trying to, he's trying to uh, get rid of that distance by pulling back. The sharp left hand of the body a moment ago from Ramirez. Yeah, but he, he's pulling straight back. Got to move his head a little bit more. Well, I talked about slow starts for Ramirez. Early in his career, he really would have rounds like he's kind of having early in this fight where he would not be doing a, as much volume and not be in rhythm, and then he would get in rhythm later in the fights and ultimately mostly on, ends up winning back. them. Break. Way to listen. We'll see if that's the case in this fight. Yeah. I think in this fight, uh, so far, he's not very active, but I still believe well, he's winning around. Stop measuring. No he measuring. Could. Yeah, but they're, it's certainly close enough. Yes. Final 10 seconds of round two. I don't care what, what y'all are saying. I'm here. You should be here to see me. Exactly. <laughs> what I'm curious about is Tag Davis' duffel bag. He's been carrying that all over. I saw it at the press conference, at the weigh-in. I think it's going to go each other. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, oh, two nice right hands from Melendez. Melendez is a very fine combination puncher. He just doesn't always let his hands go, but that was a beautiful combination. I think this fight's hey, going to really punch, heat up punch. because you expect Ramirez to start don't throwing punch. more volume, and I think Come Melendez on. as well. Although Melendez throwing 13 more punches than Ramirez, and for him, that's kind of good news. Yeah, absolutely. And now they're in a little bit closer quarters, too. Uh, well, that's kind of favoring Melendez, yeah, the aggression from Ramirez. He's walking into straight punches. Punches that Melendez is timing really well. See, that's what he does. He times. Yeah. yeah. Really finding a home for that right hand in this round. Ramirez trained by the great Pedro Montiel, brother of the wonderful champion Fernando Montiel, one of those champs from Los Mochas. And they're a boxing royalty down there. And, you know, they're, they, they feel Ramirez has a chance to ultimately get that world title. Oh, nice uppercut by Ramirez. Uppercut started with a body shot. There's a good straight right hand again from Melendez. And there's a nice little uppercut from Melendez. So he's working off every punch that Ramirez is throwing. Melendez is working off that punch. He's just that much faster and, and it's working for him. This has been a fun round to watch and both men getting a lot done now. Absolutely. More done than they did in the other rounds. Absolutely. There's a left hand and a right hand behind it from Ramirez. This like looked like other. a fight that had really good potential, right. and I Step think it's going to start punch, living punch, up to punch. that here as these rounds continue, well, as, and this, it is in this round. Yeah, I was just going to say, certainly this round is. Nice uppercut in close quarters and a left hand behind it from Melendez. It's really something. I mean, the punches that Melendez is landing are really clean punches. I mean, Ramirez is trying, obviously, letting his hands go, putting the pressure, but it's Melendez clean punches. There it is, that right hand. And now Ramirez right on top of Melendez, who could not extricate himself from the ropes right now. There's that right hook from Ramirez. He's got a lot of power in that punch. And for the first time, Ramirez really uh, became dedicated to some body work. Again, a combination from Ramirez slips in. Yeah, that's a place you don't want to be. You're Melendez, you, you want to get out of the 
giving Ramirez too many too many punches. Final seconds of this round, and again, this is another round that you can make a case either way. Melendez, right hand. Started with the right hand, finished with the right hand. Well, Melendez, early in the round, through these nice combinations, that was a nice left uppercut, straight right hand combination. Then later on in the round, some rough activity on the inside. We'll see a, a, a nice uppercut from Melendez, and he throws an elbow mm -hmm. in for good measure. And rumor has it we may see an elbow or two from Rolly Romero later on tonight, <laughs> according to Tank Davis. Ramirez had very good moments in the last uh, a minute and a half of that round and he got Melendez on the ropes and landed some nice good shots a couple of good right hooks as well as those punches. It's a very close fight so far. I think I think it's a really competitive fight you know because both fighters are throwing a lot of punches but I, I still sense that Melendez clean punching is what's getting him ahead. Uh, that's a valid point. He starts with two uppercuts, both of which got there, and then a right hand, a left behind it. And all of a sudden, Melendez opening up. Rivera says it's not hurt, which generally means I'm hurt. Keep your hands off the back of his head. <laughs> well, and you guys, know, a, a big tactical error, I think, by oh, Ramirez. Oh, oh big shot right there. there. Let he's go laying Lewis. on the inside with Melendez. Yes, that is not that's what he's all about as a fighter. Uh, that is just, it's just making Melendez's job easier. A lot easier. He's just leaning on him. Ramirez, Melendez, I'm sorry, just really keep picking his punches now. Yeah. Yeah, Ramirez saying that when he's low, he might have an argument. I like how he dips down to his right to Eduardo, counter the right hand with the his right his hand. Head. Speaking Keep of Melendez. Keep him up. But you know, I'm going to tell you right now, against Brian DeGrassi and other fights, Ramirez has been in this position before and come back to win dramatically. That is so true. Yeah. As much as we love what Melendez is doing right now, uh, we shouldn't get too enraptured because Ramirez can't come back. He had a left hand just a moment ago. Pretty good shot. Yeah, seconds ago, Melendez also turned lefty. He was fighting as a softball for a second. Kind of getting the sense, uh, a glimpse of that right there. Hey, here again with hey. Melendez with his back, back to the ropes, whoa, getting whoa, whoa, the better whoa, whoa, whoa. of it. Come on, when I say break, yep. Melendez is starting to square up a little bit, though, and that we yeah. put that in the keys. He shouldn't be doing that. Two, two body shots and an uppercut from Ramirez. Yeah, that's what you want to keep on doing if you're Ramirez. Keep working that body. That Let body's open other. all day for, for Ramirez. And he has a nice, really nice uppercut. Right hand in the back of the head. Starting to score more effectively here. When Ramirez is at punching distance, he can do well. But when he lays on the inside, it's an issue for him. Yeah, he's, he's mothering his punches when he gets in too close. And Melen is doing a good job of countering him when he lays on the inside. But at this range, it has been Ramirez. Yes. And Ramirez has landed 23 body shots to six from Good right hand right there. So he's invested there. And normally Melendez lands 40% of his punches to the body, so he hasn't gone downstairs as much. Ooh, really nice hug from Melendez. Nice. There's a good little uppercut short quarters by Melendez. Paul Ramirez stepping in, and again, a very close round. Fun round of boxing. Yes, it was. Early on, Melendez got off to a big start in, the, in this round and using repeated uppercuts. And again, that's where Ramirez is laying on the inside. And Melendez is just a better inside fighter. And this is the place where if you give him a chance, Melendez will throw those combinations. But we talked about the fact that uh, Ramirez has now landed 24 body shots to six by Melendez. And there's an example of it. Going downstairs very well. And will that slow Melendez up as this fight continues? We'll see. 
but Melendez keeping landing off those ropes is very alluded to earlier. Round five, we're going 10, very close fight. And it's both man's, man, when, when they let their hands go, they're really effective. It's Melendez, really nice, clean punches. But Ramirez also, as you guys mentioned, when he lets his hands go at a right distance, he's really effective. Keep your hands off each other's heads. <laughs> now, both guys working in close quarters, not a lot of damage. Keep him up, keep him up, Eduardo. Well, this comes from a boxing family. His uncles, his brothers are boxers, and uh, like Ramirez, boxing's in his blood, and uh, he loves the sport, and he is uh, a young man hoping that he's on the precipice of making something big happen. He did get there with the right hand of the body just a moment ago. They go with each other. It was the best punch of that sequence. And you See, mentioned earlier, Maybe in the end, that could soften his man up a bit. Now, Ramirez has to take advantage of, of that distance right there because Melendez really is just touching him. You know, he's just tapping with those punches. Ramirez, you, you want to sit down on your punches now. And in the Matisse fight against Thomas Matisse, Melendez around this there point in the fight started slowing down a little bit. So we'll see if that's going to happen here. Just as you said, Abner, took a step back and connected twice. Yeah, you just got to right, wait for the right time and land hard punches from Ramirez. Good body work. Great hook. That, that's what you want to do. Right now, Ramirez much the busier of the two and starting a little bit to have his way. Melendez breathing through his mouth a little bit now. Yeah, that body work really taking toll right now. Okay, break, let go of each other. Step back, don't punch. There was a nice left hook from Melendez downstairs. That was only his seventh body shot he's landed in this fight. And so uh, he hasn't invested down there like Ramirez did. And like I said, normally 40% of the landed punches from Melendez are body shots. So he's abandoned that. Even though he's been very successful, obviously, in the headshots. See, Melendez, when he um, fights backwards, he's only looking for one shot, a counter punch. You Ramirez, he throw more punches. And that's what he's doing. Watch Ramirez to come to it. See, only one shot from Melendez. Yeah, I feel as though this may be the most lopsided round of the fight in Ramirez's favor. Let's jump off the track for a moment and introduce Jim Gray to us for the night, first time tonight. Jim? All right, Barry, thank you very much. As we get ready for the main event, seems like this has turned into tank versus talk. Uh, how much fun was it for you yesterday at the weigh-in to push him off stage? Uh, it, was, it was pretty fun, you know what I mean, just to see, beat him at his own game, you know what I mean, so. How hard did you push him? Show me. Uh, just touch. Just that tap, huh? Just tapped him, you know what I mean, just tapped him. Have you become amused or annoyed with all this talk? Uh, um, just, uh, speechless, to be honest, <laughs> speechless. Just ready to fight, man. The time is now, so all that talking is, uh, out the window now. You've said you want to punish him. Why? Because of all the talk? Yeah, I just want to show him that he's not, uh, badass like he think he is. That's it. Yet he's saying it's a first round knockout. He's going to knock you out in the first round. Yeah, I'll be looking at him this, when the second round will come up and just be like, uh, you ain't get me out of there the first round. So let's see what you got the second round. All right, Tank. Best of luck. We'll talk to you after the fight. Thank you. All right. All right thanks, Jim. And uh, we, meanwhile, are in round six of this 10 round fight. Just past the halfway point. And Melendez now, I think, is going to have to reach down and find something has not been there for the last couple of rounds. You know, uh, uh, in his last fight against Mariaga, Ramirez landed 48% of his power punches, which is everything other than the jab. Tonight he's landing at 36%. Um, so it's a little bit less. 
All right, I want to bring our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood, in. And uh, I think a really interesting fight to judge so far. Steve, how are you seeing it? Uh, Barry, I think it's pretty close. I agree with you guys. Ramirez clearly won the last round. You know, I have uh, Melendez ahead by a point. But I'll tell you what's a shame. What's a shame is that if this fight goes the distance, rounds one and two will represent 20% of the scoring. And nothing happened in those rounds. Yeah. How those rounds could yeah. end up being... Good yeah, point. I think that's really interesting, and it was really not because anybody, not because both guys were doing something, it was because both guys really weren't doing anything. Yeah, this fight really picked up in the third round, and now it's an entertaining matchup, but yeah, what impact will those have, and how will they be scored? Yeah, and it's at these moments right here that you want to take advantage if you're Ramirez. There's the uppercut, the body work, I haven't seen it yet in this round. I want a little bit more. Finally, Melendez going downstairs with a left hook to the body. And Ramirez not doing much business in this round. Lunging left hand. <laughs> Melendez has been passed four rounds only twice in his career. Ooh, nice combination there from Melendez. Yeah. A little bit of a wake-up call here in round six for Melendez. Yeah, he's had a pretty decent round. Uh, Ramirez has been attacking, but Melendez has done some very good work. A lot of missing from yeah. Ramirez. I mean, I think this keeps in an entertaining matchup, obviously. Both staying there. Ramirez having his way, Melendez also. But M Melendez really, uh, he's more effective in the outside when he picks shots his, his punches at that range. Wait for Ramirez to come in, right hand, keep turning them. Make it a lot easier for the uh, judges to see the clean punching. Combination there from Ramirez. He has ah. Melendez a little bit off balance. Let's go right back now to Jim Gray with another guest, Jim. All right, Barry, thank you very much. Here with Roly Romero. Roly, you said you think this is going to be a first round knockout. What made you say that? He's easy to hit. He has a big head. I don't know. Your confidence in bravado is astounding. Where does it come from? That I don't know either. It's just either you're born with it or you're not. I'm not insecure. You know, you either know something that everybody doesn't know or you're, there's something about you that's delusional. What is it that you know from having sparred with him in the same gym for so long never, that nobody else sees? I've never sparred him before, but the best information is information I know that you don't know. So that's, we'll leave it at that. Don't want to share any of it? Can't. Secret. All right, we look forward to talking to you after the, after the fight. I uh, will see. Knockout. Knockout. He's sticking by it, Barry. <laughs> he is indeed, Jim. <laughs> He's, you got to say, it provides for very, very good entertainment. Confident young man. He is. Speaking of which, uh, Melendez uh, sparred with Tank Davis uh, leading up to this match, and uh, they felt that that was very uh, helpful to yeah. Melendez. They said it was just something that, that each other. worked for him and, and improved him vastly Don't as punch. a fighter. And of course, he's in there against the lefty right now. Yeah, no doubt sparring um, um, professional fighters at that level. World champions will definitely get you, you know, ready for big fights. And Melendez, you know, he's, he's a really good fighter. He's talented. I like when he fights in the outside, when he does that. A lot of people might not find it entertaining, but, you know, it makes it easier for him as well. Ah, I think he's a really good counter puncher. Exactly, yeah. yes. Doesn't want to be here, though, and he takes yeah. the worst of it in the corner. But he waits a little bit too long, too much sometimes. Yeah. He let those punches get in from Ramirez. That right hook from Ramirez, that's been a missing ingredient for him. You know, I talked about that during the keys. He's got power with that punch, and there, in fact, the body shots we saw, and, and as opposed to the head shots. That kind of tells the story of this fight as well. Ramirez doing better to the body, and Melendez better to the head. Melendez not doing very much in this round at all, though. Again, I don't know if it's, I like what he's doing. I like how he's boxing from the outside. I like when he picks shots, his, his punches. But again, the aggression of Ramirez is definitely something, you know, the judges will keep an eye on, especially that body work. Yeah, four yeah. five to the body. 
left hand just missed from Ramirez, who was there for it. Now Ramirez is setting down on his right hooks, mm -hmm. too. It's both the body and the head. This has been a, a very, very nice sequence for Ramirez. And as I said, remember, Melendez kind of faded in the last three or four rounds of the Matisse fight, which was an eight-rounder. This one, of course, is going to ten. Yeah, and if, if Ramirez, Ramirez keeps investing in that body, it would, it would, he would see that. Melendez on his bike right, a lot keep this round. And he's been trapped on the ropes more than yes. he has in other mm -hmm. rounds. Yes. That's what's happening. He can't fight off Ramirez anymore, Melendez. So he's relying on his, his boxing. He's relying on his legs. He's, he's, but he's staying there. Yeah, That's he's, not, yeah. And he's slipping punches in the counter yes. in there. But, it, you know, the problem is if you're, you can't slip forever, right? And, and switching to left, you got it with that right hook. This is the most sustained action we've seen from Melendez as a lefty. Hasn't stayed lefty this long. Still lefty. Time. That's it, man. Sit, baby. That's boxing. Give me the water. Deep breath. Beautiful. I need you to count them more. I need you to let your hands go a little bit more. I got this. All right? So, don't, when you make a miss, you got to make a pay. You understand me? Beautiful. And don't give up on your jab. Stay jabbing. He hasn't thrown a jab all fight, bro. Yes? Now you got to fight inside. Inside. And with power punches. Now when you come with the punching powers, right? When you have them against the ropes. Start cutting the ring. Start cutting the ring. Cut the ring. Come on, let's go. On top of him. So we come to round seven. Scheduled for ten. I beg your pardon, round eight. Yeah, great advice from Ramirez Corner, telling him to close the gap, close the distance, let your hands go a lot more. And Melendez, his corner, well, they were they were happy with the boxing that that he was doing. Yeah, that's Henry Rivalta in the corner with him, who's his trainer and manager. Ooh, good left hand. See again, Ramirez is now definitely sitting down on his punches. He is, but you know it's funny. He's right, given the Melendez a chance to land some showy counter punches, but mm -hmm. he's doing good work as well on the inside. I think this is a very interesting fight. It's been a fun fight stylistically. Both men have done it enough offensively to make it intriguing. Yeah, I agree with you. And, and I think we can see really, we can really see some diverse scores from the judges. Oh, oh boy, are you right, Barry Tompkins? You are correct, sir, as always. <laughs> yes. Nice combination. And again, Melendez standing straight up in the corner. Yeah, you, you don't want to do that. And it's almost bad that he's been slipping a lot of these punches because it made him emboldened to take that. Good, good left Just. hand and then two rights by Ramirez. That's exactly why you don't want to do that. I don't care how comfortable you feel in there, you don't put your hands down. A little right hand uppercut from Melendez, but he takes four for that one. And how does Melendez in the second part of this round get past the, the those barrages of Ramir, uh, Ramirez to, to win this round back? Mm -hmm. He's going to have to be a little busy. At the fighter meeting, Luis Melendez said that, you know, this was the perfect position to perform in the show and showcase his talent. You know, he's, he's doing that. And, and it definitely is a fight of a learning experience. He, he's learning from this fight. He's got a tough Ramirez in front of him. Yes. Obviously, the fight is not over yet. We still got two more rounds, and it's a really close fight. Well, a good right hand slipped in by Ramirez. Melendez had a good right hand a moment ago. <laughs> Melendez is a 24-year-old who did not fight great competition until his last couple of fights. So this is, you know, he's really now fight. They're really finding out now where he can get to in the sport of boxing. And he's clearly skilled. We just see how, yes. whether he can beat these kind of fighters. And for Ramirez, vital now because of all those chances Barry talked about with uh, mandatories or whatever he, he lost here would, would hurt him uh, in terms of his standing. 
There was a left to the body and a right to the head from Ramirez. Mm. Long left hand. He's walking straight back, Melendez, and he caught with that left. But again, Ramirez, and this has been almost consistent through the fight, is outworking Melendez. Yes. Yeah, he's, he, he's narrowed the gap in terms of the punches thrown. Well, Ramirez had an excellent round, and, and it started uh, it, while he was using that jab, an underused weapon for him. That was the big left hand, one of them in the last round. And Melendez later in the round staying on the ropes and leaving his hands down and getting hit with these shots by Ramirez. That was after he had slipped a lot of punches with his hands down, but then not so much at this juncture. And the straight left hand from Ramirez. He's known more as a right hooker, but he can throw that straight right hand. Well, and here comes the hook to the body, and, and the hands again very low for Melendez. You're playing with your future right now in this fight, so keep on top of him. Mucho, mucho. Let's go. Keep doing it. Let's protect her. Let's go. On top of him. On top of him. Let's go. Don't let him breathe. That's the line of the night from Pedro Montiel. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're playing with your future. We alluded to that. He's the guy that has more loser tonight yeah. than Melendez. If you're Melendez's last two rounds, uh, and, and this is me just speaking, you know, thinking, uh, he needs to just box. I, I don't like him trading with Ramirez because Ramirez has his way in the inside. If you're out there, land one, two good shots and, and keep boxing. I know Ramirez's uh, heart rate and, and, and you know pressure might might seem like you know uh, he's getting the fight, but Melendez clean punching is what's doing it. All right, once again we bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Faro. And Steve, here's your card. Talk about Watch it for us. Watch your heads. Well, there's no doubt that uh, Ramirez has won the last couple of rounds fairly, close, fairly clearly. What you have to remember, though, is that the rounds that Ramirez has won, he's won them more clearly than the rounds Melendez has won. That doesn't mean anything, though, because each round is a round on itself. I think this is going to be decided in the last two rounds, but right now Ramirez seems to have the momentum. It's a really good point. Yeah. Just because you win rounds more convincing, it's how many you win, unless there's a 10-8 round from a knockdown. The left hand from Ramirez, again, catching. Melendez kind of caught him turning. Melendez has landed some fairly nice counter punches this round. Not a lot of them, but a couple, as Abner said, that might, might, yeah, might get the judges' obvious. attention. Yeah. And he is boxing as you wanted him to do. He's showing some movement. Mm -hmm. And when he does punch, he's giving him lateral movement, not and trying to not stay on the ropes. But Ramirez wants him there. Okay. Uppercut, but he came with a left hand of his own. Yeah, because right there I see an aggressive Ramirez. He's throwing his punches, but I don't see him landing much. Well, he's getting some yeah. in, though. I, and I think I think that the, early in the fight, Melendez was fighting well for this posture. Not so much now. That's because he got tired. Yeah. <laughs> it was the body oh, work. Yes. Yeah, the yes. 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 in there. <laughs> Especially for those body punches. Mm -hmm. Of which, by the way, now uh, Ramirez has landed 70 body punches total in this fight. So that's a that's a very nice figure. Yes, it is. But Melendez, to his credit, right there. Yeah. This is a good round of it boxing is. here and a close one. Let go of each other. Again, I think volume right. speaks. Step and, back. And it's Ramirez who's getting the volume. Whoever closes this show right now in the last 20 seconds, I think is going to steal this round. It's up for grabs. That's going to come down the final three minutes. I need one fucking more round like that. One more fucking round like that. You hear me? One more fucking round like that. Don't give him the ropes. Don't give him the fucking ropes this round. Deep breath. Give me one. Don't give him the ropes this round, baby. You hear me? Nothing. Just like that. Come on, baby. You, you're a killer. Last round. Three minutes to become the greatest of all time, baby. Bonico. 
Let's go, the last round. Hey, encima, encima. On ya. top of him, on top of him in this last round. Zurdo. Lindsay, just keep walking him down. Come walking him down, where you know. Okay. So, final round. All right, let's go. Tenth and final round. And it could possibly be decided here. And Ramirez is more experienced. He's 2 0 in 10 round fights. Melendez is 1 0. But also, Ramirez has been 12 rounds twice. So, we'll see if he has more in the tank in this round from his experience at going long. Mm -hmm. They want Melendez to stay off the ropes, keep him in the middle of the ring. He started this round in the middle yeah. of the ring, and he got Stop. there with a couple of no shots. He started Stop. off the Stop. round really well. Melendez landed like three, four shots, clean shots. Side steps, and now we're just waiting to see if Ramirez starts okay. pressing, which he will. And there you see the body shots landed. I mean, Ramirez did a lot of work early, but it didn't stop the movement of Melendez in the last round or so. So he's been still moving. And the headshot's a big edge, obviously, for Melendez. So it's a fight yes. in uh, two, two different spaces. And seeing th those headshots are the ones that I think that it might get Melendez, you Keep know, the, the, the eggs. Yeah. Combinations again in the oh. corner, and that's just where Melendez does not want to be. Nice straight left from Ramirez. But you know, if you're going to get knocked out by Ramirez, it's probably going to be the right hook, not the straight left. So it's not his best power punch, even though he lands it well. Mm, interesting, because the setup punch for him, right? It seemed like a hard shot. And that's again right because Melendez is walking oh. straight back. And another Man. combination, three oh. good shots from Ramirez. Melendez took a really good right hook from Ramirez there and did not get hurt. Straight right hand that time. This fight is ending with a round Set much back, like many guys, of that preceded it. Yes. Really close and very well fought. That's why I think the scoring is going to really be yeah. interesting. Yeah, nice feints from Melendez. Okay, break, don't punch, don't punch. Yeah, there's two things we haven't punch, seen guys. a lot of in this fight. Effective jabs and fainting. Uh, jabs we've seen all the rest. Yeah, no jabs. Sometimes, you know, a jab works well. Uh, you know, you just, if you don't want to use the jab, you know, you use the feints. And that's what Melendez is doing in this round. Did you see a moment ago, there was a left hand throw by Melendez. Ramirez took a funny step backward. Hmm. Okay, they go of each other. Obviously, he hasn't affected him. Good left hand right there, and that rocked Melendez. Might have been Rivera's best punch of the fight. There's a right hand to the final 10 seconds for Rivera's dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's in the hands of the judges. Clearly, both men think they won, and they may have a case to be yeah. made for it. Yeah, both fighters have a case for celebrating because it was it's one of those fights, man. Really, really close fight. And one thing that for Melendez, however this decision turns out at age 24, what he's demonstrated in his last couple fights, whether you think he won the Thomas Matisse fight or whether you think he won this fight or didn't, is that he can fight the good fighters mm -hmm. in this weight division. Whether he can fight the really good fighters remains to be seen, but he's done that because he fought very weird, not good opposition. Now, we look at the numbers, uh, and it, it demonstrates, number one, that the the, the work to the body that Ramirez did, and the, he landed at 40% of his power punches. Melendez landing 43% of his power punches, everything oh, other than the jab. So, you know, this fight is a pick em fight, and those numbers kind of demonstrate that. You know, just eyeballing this fight, I would not have thought that Melendez would have thrown 100 more punches. Yeah, but he did. And, yeah. and, you know, the interesting thing is that for him, punching with more volume, a surprise in this fight. I mean, it was tough, though. It was tougher than what I expected. 
they easy. both wanted this fight, and you could tell that by the way they fought this 10th round. Really good exchanges from both men. The right hook and the straight right hand. That's really the, those are the two power shots that each man can land, and they both landed it simultaneously. That was exactly what both fighters were landing, Mower. Melendez the right hand, Ramirez the hook, and oh, there it goes again, both the landing an uppercut. I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't show the world how close this fight was. Yeah, that demonstrates <laughs> it perfectly. That and then Ramirez later, this is that right hook that would land really well. Now let me tell you something. Ramirez has knocked fighters out with a right hook just like that. Give Melendez credit for staying up. This was near the end of the round, and Melendez actually ended up the round kind of pushing Ramirez back. And that's where Ramirez kind of got pushed. You know, he, yeah, they both men, that really was more of a balance. Well, that was yeah. more of a balance yeah. thing for Melendez. But both men landing big shots in that last round. Well, he's hardly marked. Doesn't look like he's done much work tonight. And in fact, he was involved in a war. And I, I honestly don't, for that young man, Melendez, this is a win either way for yeah. him. Whether he wins or he doesn't win, because he's demonstrating in X24 he is capable of fighting these guys. Ramirez needs to win. All right, so it is in the hands of the judges. We will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, we have a majority decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, John McKay scores the bout 95-95, even a draw. Overruled by judges, Bernard Bruni scoring the bout 96-94. John Podridge sees it 98-92 in favor of the winner, Eduardo Surdito Ramirez. Not shocking that Ramirez won that fight. The 98-92 might be a little wide, but Ramirez did great work in that fight, and you know, you could see him coming away with a win at 96-94, yeah. quite plausible. And like you mentioned, Al, this is not a defeat for Luis Melendez. Definitely no. taking a learning experience tonight. You know, against Ramirez, and, and sometimes you win more like this. Forget getting the W. You go home with a hard nose, you know, hard work fight where you learned a lot. And for Ramirez, a very important win to keep him marching toward maybe contention in 130 pound division. Absolutely. He ran into a tough guy tonight, though. I mean, yep. Melendez gave him everything he wanted. And, uh, and, and you're right. I think Melendez is a guy, you know, put him on your radar someplace. He's going to be one of those guys who will get other fights and is very capable. Yeah, you can't get discouraged. Go back to the gym, work hard, even harder now. And, and that's what it is. You know, you win some, you lose some, but it's about learning.